Next question is design a 4-bit universal shift register using positive edge trigger D flip flop and multiplexes to operate as indicated below. So mode select is given, operation is given. For a 0 0 it is hold, 0 1 it is right shift, 1 0 it is left shift and 1 1 it is parallel load. It is from the question August September 2020. Okay. So what is given in your question? The modes are given, operation is given. You have to design a 4 bit universal shift register. So before that we have to know what is meant by universal shift register. So if a shift register that can do both the shift operation that is left shift and right shift which is also called as bidirectional and also which has the parallel load and parallel output capable is referred to as your universal shift register okay universal which can do all the operation. So it can be defined as the registers that has both direction shift and parallel load and parallel output capable is referred to as universal shift register that is it has four options right uh, serial in serial out serial in parallel out parallel in serial out and parallel in parallel out so which can uh, have all these four options is called as your universal shift register so we have to design it using d flip flop and multiplexer the, in the given problem you have th four select options so you are going for using four flip flops and four mux so the max used is 4 is to 1, 4 inputs and 1 output. So if it is 4 is to 1 max, what will be your, you know, that multiplexer it depends on your select lines, right? So you, uh, you should have two select lines. So let us take the select lines as S0 and S1, okay? So depending on the select lines, your max will be working. So the universal shift register consists of four max, that is 4, 4 is to 1 max, which will be having your select lines S1 and S0. All the marks will be having the select lines to select line S1 and S0. So your select lines is nothing but your mode select, right? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So if it is 0, 0, it is hold 0, 1 means. So if this is S1 and if this is S0, then your first option is your hold. Second one is your right shift. Third one is your, that is 1, 0 is your left shift, right? And 1, 1 is your parallel load so these are the different operations so as just given as given in your problem right shift left shift and parallel load same thing i have replaced here okay so this it depends on your select lines of the multiplexers and the output of the multiplexer each multiplexer will be connected to your d flip flop so d3 so a third flip flop all these are d flip flops d2 d1 and d0 Right. Now your uh, flip-flop will be consisting of a clear signal for initially clearing the um, parameters or circuit values and the clock signal. The clock signal is a positive triggered clock because there is no bubble here in this case. Okay. And you have the, uh, in addition, what are the other important things you have? So here you have I3, I2, I1, I0 as your parallel input and your A3, A2, A1, A0 as your parallel output, okay? And your second is taken as your serial input for left shift of all, uh, and, for, and your first is taken as your uh, serial input for your right shift, okay? The input data is given for right shift through the pin 1, okay? So now let me go on to the working principle. So what is your first option? S1 and S0 is equal to 0, 0. So when these two is equal to select lines are equal to 0, 0, what is the option when select line is equal to 0, 0, you have 0 to be selected. So how does your max works? You know that if this is your output, okay, output Y, it will select one of the four lines, right? So if input is select lines is 0, 0, it will be selecting the 0 line. Now 0 will be connected to your max output. Now the output is connected to your D flip flop, right? And you will be getting the output Q3. That This is the way in which it works. So for 0, 0, your value 0 will be connected to your, will be taken as your output of your max, okay? So what will happen now? All the 0 will be connected to your output, okay? So this will be your connection for your 0, 0. Means what? There is no change in the data, or it holds the data, there is no change in the circuit, okay? If it is 1, 0, 1, 0, it remains in the same state because your same data will be obtained in the output, okay? That is 
called as the hold condition. What about the next condition 0, 1? If you have your select lines as 0, 1, then what will be your uh, function? It will be your right shift. So what is happening in your right shift? What uh, Your data should be given to your first pin, right? So serial input. Now if I am giving here 1, 1, 0, 1. Now the data should be, as you get the clock pulse, you, your data should be shifted 1 bit right. So what should happen here? So, so the input data is given to the first pin. Now your 1 will be selected or your y will be uh, all the multiplexers will have will be having the output as 1 okay so your 1 will be selected in this case now when you have your 1 data here it will go to your d3 and you will be getting it to the q3 now this q3 has to be shifted to your d2 right so what will happen now your a3 that is your output should be shifted to your first pin okay now it is given now it will ultimately when one is selected you will be getting it as d2 again from here the output should be shifted to your next flip flop right so how will you give the output will be given to your first pin again okay this is how you have your right shift it carries on now so now let us see the third option if the select line is equal to 1 0 it should be left shifted right so if it is select line is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0, now it will be shifted to the left. For that now you are going to give the input from across your second pin. Okay, so uh, your let us consider the input is equal to, serial input is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1. Then how it will left shift? So you are now, your second pin will be selected by your max out. Okay, now 2 will be selected. Now what will happen once you have 2 as selected the output will give go to your D0 you will be getting Q0 output as your second pin the data you will be getting okay. Now what should happen this data should be shifted to the sec next flip flop D1 right from Q, Q0 to D1. Now what you will be doing from here you have the connection has to be given to your second pin. So that the data now will come to your second pin will be selected. It will come to your D1. Ultimately, you will be getting the D1 output as your Q1. Okay. So this is how now you have shifted the D0 data to D1. Now what will happen again from the output Q1 that is same output is uh, should be shifted to your second pin of the next flip flop. So that the data gets shifted. So this is how you are working print. Similarly from here this output will be shifted to your second pin okay this is how your data is being shifted towards your left okay so this is your shift left operation so all this shifting happens during the positive trigger pulse now the last one is called as your parallel load when your select line is equal to 1 1 which will be selected your third pin will be selected Multi <coughs> multiplex output will be your third pin which is nothing but your parallel load input i3 i2 i1 i0 when you apply the clock what will happen your data will be loaded parallelly and ultimately you will be getting it as your output which will be input d0 same output you will be getting in q0 that is your parallel output will be available so these are the four different uh, mode of control or mode of operation of your universal shift register